Well, here's the Yankees' secret weapon ready to close a game. Mariano Rivera comes in. We'll give you his numbers, and boy, they're about as good as you'd ever want a pitcher's numbers to be. He's 3 0, an ERA of 0.92. In 14 games, in 29 innings, 12 hits. Imagine 12 hits in 29 innings, or a little less than four hits per nine innings. He has walked 11, and he has struck out 31, and the league is hitting a robust 124 off him. Yeah, that's like saying the atomic bomb is a secret weapon. I think people know about it. Yeah, I think they do. But it is a, a unique weapon, how the Yankees use him. Here, of course, it's as a, a closer. He gets an inning. But ordinarily, he comes in 6th, 7th, and 8th, and takes that Yankee lead and holds it. He's been spectacular. He deals to Velarde, and there's a strike. Randy having a perfect night. He's walked twice and homered. It'll be Velarde. Then left hand hitting Mike Aldretti will hit for DeSarcina. And then another lefty hitter, Garrett Anderson. 8 5 Yanks. Rivera is 0 1 is high, and the count 1 and 1. They're in the seventh inning in Baltimore. The Orioles lead Seattle 7 6. Rivera's one one cut on a missed boy can he throw hey, Randy Velarde has a very quick bat for example Velarde is one of the few people who gets his base hits against Randy Johnson he started swinging when the ball was in Girardi's mitt Here's the one two strike three is called Velarde is called out on a high fastball, and there's one away. Well, they say that that Rivera stuff really does translate into closing stuff. I mean, he can come in the ninth inning and throw that hard, and no matter who you have in the game before him, doesn't have that free and easy motion. He'll blow the ball past people. Mike, uh, not to take credit, because I think anyone doing these games would say the same thing, but we said that last year. Why would he be a closer? Because he's overpowering, and he throws strikes. And that was apparent last year. So one away. Here's Mike Aldretti, a lefty hitter, pretty good pinch hitter type. He is five for 26 on the year. He swings and fouls it away third base side. Ironically, Aldretti is really not a power hitter, more of a line drive left center field hitter. Has five hits and three have been home runs. He has stayed on the West Coast. He went to Stanford and he has played for the Giants and the A's. Now the Angels. The 0-1 swung on and lined to left field. It's a base hit in front of Reigns, who was playing much too deep anyway. So Aldretti is on, and the Angels are far from dead. They have some good hitters coming up, and here's one of them, left-hand hitting Garrett Anderson. Aldretti will have a job for a long time. He is a lefty hitter who can come off the bench and get base hits. Left fielder Garrett Anderson. So the Angels need one more base runner, and then they'll have a couple of shots at it. And they have, as I excuse me, Mike, and as I mentioned, they have good hitters coming up. Slot is on deck, and then lefty hitting Jim Edmonds. Rivera deals strike. Not that Rivera can't do it, but you wonder why not Wetland today? I don't know. I wonder why. And why isn't Wetland even up? I mean, there's nobody warming the bullpen. It's Rivera, isn't it? It'll be an 0-1. There's a double play ball to second. Fee short one. She just throw to first. In time. Ball game over. Yankees win. <laughs> bang, bang. A 4 6 3 double play. And Rivera does the job once again. And the Yankees win the first of this three game series by the score of 8 to 5. So Rivera gets a save. And Pettit, of course, gets the win. And. There's the guy with all the totals, Michael Kay. Thank you, John. The Angels, 5 9 and 0, leaving five runners on there now, 19 and 21. And the Yankees, 8 10 and 1, leaving three runners on there now, 23 and 15. The
The winning pitcher is Pettit. He's now six and two. The save goes to Rivera, his first of the year. The loser is Jim Abbott. He now drops to one and six. Home runs in the game. Velarde his third. Jack Howell his fourth. That's a pinch hit three run shot. And Paul O'Neill his fifth. The time of the game, three hours and five minutes. And the attendance here at the stadium on a Friday evening in the Bronx, 19,000. And 87, 19087. Once again, the final score, the Yankees 8 and the Angels 5.